This is Ross Shabilsky, and again I want to show another issue I found in Adobe Air 3.2 release candidate. Um, as you can see now, the animations here are running pretty choppy. Um, if I hit play here, you're going to see the things transition out. It's going to appear even more um, relevant in the gameplay once that starts up, what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just end turn so we can see the computer battle here. And we can see these animations in action. Okay, so you can see very clearly here, very slow frame rate animations, a lot of chop to it, taking quite a bit of time to chug along. And uh, the reason it's doing this is because the game is currently running in high quality mode, which is a bit far more than the iPad one can handle. But the interesting observation I've discovered is that um, if I change the gameplay settings here and switch the graphics quality to low, which is going to also essentially here just change the stage quality to low. So I want low and go back to OK. You're going to see um, the animations here are still running choppy because even though the stage quality has changed, um, the actual rendering issue underlying the background hasn't actually taken effect. But if um, I zoom in here, you can see the effect of the low animation quality. Um, in low animation stage quality, the bitmap will kind of jitter because of pixel snapping. The same animation in a high stage quality is going to appear much smoother without the jitter effect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set this back to application low. And now I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, close out the app. Because I want to restart the game with the stage quality initially in the low setting. And if I go ahead and fire it up now. Okay, you're going to see the animations right away, the fire in the background much faster, running at the appropriate frame rate. We're going to resume game now. Okay, so now the application's actually started in low frame rate. You can see right away here much faster animations. If I go ahead and click on this unit here, all right, you can see much faster. Now what is happening here is because it is in low stage quality, notice the uh, jittering effect. Let's pick another unit so you can see the effect here I'm talking about. But essentially what it looks like is a bit of a bouncing where the pixels are kind of bouncing out of place because of the pixel snapping in uh, low stage quality. Now we're going to go ahead and change it to high stage quality again. And this time, notice the uh, animations running very smooth, no jitter effect. Uh, same thing on this unit here. Very smooth, no jittering effect. And if I go ahead and just move some units around, very smooth uh, frame right here. No, no choppiness whatsoever. And what's interesting is that this is running in high stage quality now. And I've long thought that the uh, graphics quality rendering um, performance was due to the stage quality being at low, but apparently the iPad can very well handle stage quality high. It seems to be that some kind of other background process going on when the app initially starts up, whatever stage quality you set at the beginning of the application before loading the resources kind of determines what behavior you're going to get, and regardless of whether I change the quality of the stage or not, um, and you can see the effects too um, in these vectors when I change the low quality, it is changing it. Notice the graphics just change on those bars here, and if I change the high again, much smoother. It's kind of subtle, but it's there. Um, so that's the issue. It's kind of cool because it's neat to see the game run at the full quality animations without the jittering effect, but it's just kind of peculiar that the uh, stage quality is affected by application startup and not by simply changing the setting. Alright, that's all I have for now. Uh, again, more questions, please direct them to me.